What is happening guys? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. We're gonna jump right back into some work on the Duramax. It's gonna be something really nice and easy and something I get a whole lot of questions on Instagram and in person at truck shows for is gonna be doing some upgrades to the mirrors. One of the things I've been looking forward to for a long time. I'm gonna show you what I decided to go with and why I decided to. Before we get into that, the dealership that I work at, we got some really badass trucks then. Uh, got us a little Red Express and a 47 Dodge. Some really awesome trucks. I'll get some shots for those and see what you guys think about it. Stay tuned. If you guys are interested in either of those vehicles, the 1978 Little Red Express or the 1947 Dodge pickup truck, you can always get a hold of the guys here at Paul Sherry Chrysler in Pickwa, Ohio. SherryChrysler.com is where you can get a hold of them if that's something you guys are interested in. But back to what we were doing, let's go check out some mirrors. So what everybody tends to go with, they want to go with the newer body style like the LML, the LMM mirrors which are a really cool mirror so i ended up going with this company eccpp not really sure what that stands for but they're towing mirrors because they are a better price point and they're something that i think a lot of my viewers are going to go to instead of some of the bigger names like the boost or some of the other bigger custom light brands when you get into the boost mirrors or the other custom mirrors you're looking at spending right around 350 and up dollars for these mirrors i've looked at a couple of those sets in person on people's vehicles and then i got to look at these and i really couldn't tell much of a difference between the two so that's why i ended up going with these mirrors this is how they come a pair of them in a box price range on this one's going to be right between 150 and 170 dollars depending on where you get it i believe it is available on amazon when i make the video i will put a link to that down in the description just like the other ones these are also plug and play directly into the factory connectors so you won't have any issues there plus it has another connection here and this is for plugging in the for the light that's on the side there there are two different ways that you can kind of hook that one up um, you know it's just kind of due to preference on whatever people think it comes with this nice long harness to be able to plug that in for each of the mirrors so also really easy plug and play but guys can't either decide whether to plug them into the reverse lights so when the reverse lights come on they back up you know it's a big LED light on the air or if you want to plug them into the door light so when you open the doors it's a convenience light 
There are also a couple different configuration you guys can get these in. The different body styles, there are a couple of little differences when you're talking about earlier LLY mirrors and then LBZ to the LMM style. And one of the other configurations is for the turn signal lights for the front. It does have, just like on my LBZ, the turn signal built into the actual mirror on the back side, but on the front as well, it's gonna have lights there and they have a couple of different ones that you can pick from the smoked or the clear lenses because i switched my headlights over to the smoked lenses i went with the smoked lenses for that as well so the big thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to get them paint matched hell yeah we are i think the coolest thing that is going to look for this one i've been thinking about it a little bit is going to be to do the paint matched in the top section and the lower section down here leave the middle section the black because I don't think that having this here on the A pillar is going to look very well either if I paint that match match that to the vehicle I think that'll just be a little bit too much we can always go over here to the truck and have a look so there is the mirrors right there so essentially with the new mirror setup the upper part and the lower part are going to be the Raptor liner paint match to it where this is going to still keep the same contrast here on the A-pillar side of it. So I'm going to get these over to the paint booth and then we'll get into wiring. So kind of fast forward to the next day here. We got everything painted back from the shop and now we're going to be taking our door panel off. I know a lot of other people showing you how to do this but I'm going to give you a real quick little detail of what to do. What you're going to need is a seven millimeter socket a I think this is a t20 yep a t20 torx a driver of some kind for that and a trim pry tool so that's what we're gonna need so having a look at the door panel here this is a little cover that just pops off grab my little pry tool here Yep, literally just pops off and then that's where your one Torx is. Uh, this is gonna come off, just pops out. This piece right here is gonna pry out. There's a seven millimeter in there. As you can see hidden up in here, there's a seven millimeter. And then underneath right there is another seven millimeter. And then right here is just another pry tab. You just pry that out. It's a little Christmas tree. And then the door panel, it's not gonna pull out. It's going to lift up. You're gonna lift it up off its little hinges. Then this top panel is literally just gonna pull off. Those clips pull out. And then we've got access to our mirror here. There are three 10 millimeter bolts. I forgot you'll need a 10 millimeter socket for that to be able to pull the old mirror out. So I've already kind of swapped this one around. So it's all kinds of swap around and then um, so we've got the one plug that goes down our door panel and plugs into the back of our switch and then our other one is going to be our lighting for our reverse LEDs I'm going to show you how we wire those in so up front we tapped into the trailer backup wire or the trailer backup fuse I should say we put an add a fuse in um, again always use heat shrink butt connectors if you're you know going to use any butt connectors out here use ones with heat shrink put a little uh, notch in the PDC here for it to run through and then we're going to run our one power line inside through the firewall down there so if we can see yep so we're going to run it on inside We've got our power wire run inside and then also ran it across to the right side because we're going to need power over there as well. The kit comes with a wiring harness that plugs right into the factory or the uh, mirror that you have here. Run that down in the door panel. You're going to have to get a, a clothes hanger of sorts, you know, yeah, just a clothes hanger like that to help unhook these, run the wire through the door jam and then down into here. So the power wire, we're gonna be hooking up to the red wire that we ran through the firewall, and then the ground, we're gonna put an eyelet on and just put it to the, uh, I don't know, ground strap right there. And then it's gonna be the same exact thing on the other side, and it's gonna look awesome. We'll give her a try. There we 
there we go guys we got them in reverse these are our LED lights it's kind of bright outside so can't really show you and to match the truck we've got the bed liner paint job on them Dude, that thing turned out so awesome. Big shout out over to my guy over at First Choice Paint and Body here in Piqua, Ohio. These things look awesome. I'm gonna go off of another video and I'll, uh, I'll level these out eventually, but we got a car show to get to today and it's my anniversary. So this is about the only leftover bit of the video that I've got to do, but these things are really, really cool texture turned out great matches the texture and everything here on the truck <clears throat> go back over to this side the backup lights hooked up and then the turn signals on these yeah I know it's flashing fast but that's just because I've got the uh, LED turn signals in the front right now so I gotta go put a resistor in it at the turn signal there as well as the turn signal in the front. I went with these smoked lenses in the front just to match my uh, smoked headlights and fog lights and everything. All in all, I think this really sets the truck off. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Tell me if you guys like these. Um, like I said, these were not the higher end ones, the Boost Auto Parts ones. These are EECCP, whatever. I'll put the link for them down in the description. See how well they turned out compared to the other ones. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little install of the new style tow mirrors. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. You guys stay awesome.